മാർത്തോമൻ നന്മയാൽ ഒന്നു തുടങ്ങുന്നു നന്നായി വരണമേ ഇന്ന് ഉത്തമനായ മീ ശിഹാ തിരുവുള്ളം ഉണ്മയെഴുന്നൽക്ക് വേണം Grandpa, why is this cross different from the ones we see in America? Good question. I'm glad you noticed it. You know, this is known as the Persian cross because the inscriptions on the side are in Sasanian Pahlavi or Middle Persian language. Now, look at the other cross. It has the same Persian inscription on the sides and an inscription in the Syriac language at the bottom. These are replicas of the Persian cross at Chennai. in Tamil Nadu that was made sometime in the 7th century so grandpa do you mean to say that there were christians in india back in the 7th century ad yes there were christians in india even in the 1st century ad that is our tradition it is believed that saint thomas one of the 12 apostles of jesus arrived in kerala in 52 ad at the ancient port city of Mussiris the city is presently known as Parur Pattanam the apostle established seven christian communities in various parts of the region after about 20 years of intense missionary work the apostle died a martyr this happened at chennai in the neighboring state of tamil nadu somewhere along the line definitely before the 16th century christians in india coined a phrase to express their unique identity within the multi religious and cultural context of south india mar thomada margavum valipadum margavum valipadum this saying may be roughly translated as the way and the lineage of saint thomas Interestingly the phrase consists of words from three completely different linguistic backgrounds from Aramaic mar meaning holy lord saint toma for thomas and from sanskrit marg that is way and finally from tamil varibad meaning lineage This combination of languages in the phrase is but one testimony to the confluence of cultures and thought processes that took several centuries to shape. Now, the history took a different turn with the arrival of Vasco da Gama in Kerala in 1498. You mean the Portuguese traveler? Yes. Vasco da Gama visited Kerala three times. You know, he died in Cochin in 1524 and was However, many St. Thomas Christians revolted against this move. In 1653, a group of St. Thomas Christians gathered at the church in Matancheri near Kochi and took an oath that they would never subject themselves to the authority of the Jesuit Archbishop Garcia. The event is known as Konan Kurishu Satyam that is oath at the bent cross according to oral tradition the saint thomas christians who assembled at the matanjeri church tied a rope around the cross installed at the premises 
They took the oath holding the rope. Probably the cross bent over. At any rate, the bent cross oath became a watershed in the history of Christianity in India. The community was divided into two. Christianity. Ito ito zumar shubaholam kire Basali, basali be me nabudu khare ko basali, basali be me.